third week of R. Kelly's federal trial in Chicago wrapped up the prosecution side and began the singer's defense as he faces several sex crime charges. Kelly is already sentenced to 30 years in prison after his New York federal trial ended in June. Closing arguments are expected to happen in the middle of next week. A conviction in Chicago could add decades to a sentence. Throughout the week, the jury heard testimonies from three more Kelly accusers. The prosecution rested on Tuesday, after which the court took a break on Wednesday and returned Thursday with the defense. Notably, Kelly told the judge he would not be taking the stand to testify during this trial. Here are the biggest happenings from the third week of the trial. R. Kelly's trial in Chicago, explained, why the convicted sex offender is back in court last week's recap, biggest moments from week 2 of R. Kelly's trial as Singer faces more sex crime charges Kelly's lawyers began mounting a defense Thursday, though presentation to jurors won't include Kelly taking the Judge Harry Lina Weber asked Kelly directly on Thursday morning if he would testify, and the Grammy Award winner responded he would not. The judge raised the issue minutes before attorneys for Kelly and two co-defendants began calling their first witnesses, endeavoring to counter two weeks of government testimony, including from four women who accused Kelly of sexual abuse. Co-defendant McDavid, a longtime Kelly business manager, is accused of helping Kelly rig the 2008 trial, at which Kelly was acquitted. McDavid said he will testify. Co-defendant Brown is charged with receiving child pornography. Like Kelly, he said he wouldn't testify. Testifying would have been risky. At times, Kelly has exploded in anger under tough questioning, which could hurt his defense. He lost his cool in a 2019 interview with Gail King on CBS this morning. When she pressed him about accusations of sexual abuse, he jumped up, crying and gesticulating. I didn't do this stuff, he shouted. This is not me. I'm fighting for my life. More, R. Kelly screams and cries as he claims his innocent. I have been assassinated. Prosecutors rested their case Tuesday after presenting two weeks of testimony, including from four Kelly accusers. Among the last prosecution witnesses was a 42-year-old woman who went by the pseudonym Mia. Taking the stand Tuesday morning, she was the fourth and final accuser to testify at the trial in Kelly's hometown. A fifth accuser, who prosecutors had said during openings would testify, never did. They didn't explain why. Through her testimony, Nia painted a picture of Kelly as a master manipulator who reeled in starstruck fans, like her, to sexually abuse them and then discard them. Kelly gave Nia, an aspiring actress and model, his telephone number after the then 15-year-old asked him for an autograph at an Atlanta mall in 1996, she testified. 